Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, let's talk about the concept of shutter count. It is actually a number that makes DSLR users pretty excited and for good reason. Let us begin by defining the term and then we can sort of move on to understand why it's actually a pretty significant thing. So first of all, what is shutter count? Well, it is simply a measure of how many times the shutter of a DSLR camera has been fired. In fact, when you press the shutter button of a DSLR, quite a number of interesting things happen inside the camera. First of all, the mirror actually flips up. Then, there are two components called the curtains that actually slide open and sort of expose the sensor chip of the DSLR to light. And that is of course how the image gets captured. Then a second curtain actually shuts and that is when the capturing ends. So in fact, every time when you take a picture on your DSLR camera, you are actually causing this very interesting mechanical chain reaction to happen. And in fact, it is one of the only things in your entire DSLR body that is actually mechanical in nature. And of course, when something is mechanical in nature, that is how you actually get wear and tear. Just like the mileage of a car, the shutter count of a camera is in fact a way for us to gauge, you know, how good the working condition of the camera is. But how do we use that value? We understand that it sort of represents the health of the camera, but how can we make good use of this number? To understand this, we can actually look at values from two different places. First of all, is actually the shutter raising released by the manufacturer of your camera. Basically, what the manufacturer has done is they have taken this particular make and model of camera and they have put it under test. This test allows them to rate the ability of the shutter to that number of shutter clicks. So you can consider this as a bare minimum for what your camera can do. Of course, it's not a guarantee. If you sort of ill-treat your camera, you know, you let dust get inside, then maybe it wouldn't fare as well. So that is one of two numbers. The other number that could possibly interest you is an actual average. And that is other people out there who have the same camera as you they will basically take pictures and they will note down at what point of time their shutter fails. This then gives you a statistical number for the rating of the camera. And while you know this is still not a guarantee by any means, it is another way for you to sort of figure out where you are standing with regard to the shutter count and the life of your camera. The simplest way to check the shutter count of your camera is to basically just take a picture and submit it to one of many sites that will try to read the EXIF data and tell you what the shutter count of your camera is. If you're more adventurous, you can also use an EXIF reading utility, which will of course basically do the same thing. So yeah, that wraps it up for this episode of Friday Minis. That is how you figure out the shutter count or the mileage of your camera. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something today. But until next time, you're watching 0612TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.